Hi and welcome to the Martin Bell Show. Hopefully you've been keeping well and in the video today we're going to be reading from the Daily Mail online from the money section of this newspaper and it's going to be about fund managers or head term fund managers about um, being investing in their own funds which I think is a good thing which means they have skin in the game their own money in the game investing in the fund and what they should believe in so I think that is a good thing before I go any further, if I mention any names, this video does not constitute as financial advice. This is just me documenting my journey for inspirational, motivational or educational purposes only. Please do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions. So it says here, what does Terry Smith and Nick Train have in common? They have skin in the game, having invested their own money in the funds they run. Which is a very good thing and it's something I totally believe in. I believe if you have created your own fund or a hedge fund, you should have your own money in it so that you show that you actually believe in it and not just um, awaken making money from a cash cow. So this is a phrase that you can expect to hear a lot this more this year. Momentum is building behind the campaign to compel all managers of funds and trust to reveal whether they are risking their own cash alongside yours. And if not, why not? And I totally agree with that. If we're risking our money, if we're putting money into a fund, um, believing that they can do better than beat the S&P or whatever index, then they need to show that they're willing to put money in as well, not because they don't have any skin in the game. It's easy said to say, oh, buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that. If you don't have any skin in, it's a lot easier to um, say they don't actually have skin in the game. But I'm really great that these people do have skin in the game. So at present, you have no right to this information. An unjust state of affairs at the interactive investor platform wants the watchdog financial conduct authority to end. I agree. I totally agree. So Terry Smith, above right. The fund Smith manager asserts, who would trust a chef who wouldn't eat his or her own cooking and I totally agree if, you, if, if a chef doesn't eat his own food I wouldn't want to eat it either so the, for the moment the lack of publicity available data means that there is no evidence that managers who invest in their own funds produce better results although it seems common sense that this should be as powerful incentive to excel so it does it actually gives people more incentive if they have to put a certain Say if they had to put a certain percentage of their allocation of their net worth into the fund if they wanted to create a fund, it would give them more incentive to excel and also to be careful not to take them too much risk because they have the potential of losing their money. As well as it gives people more confidence within the fund that they actually believe in the fund because they're actually putting their own money in with us. Like if you want to be with us, you can come along for the ride we have skin in the game as well so that's really really good if that can happen so whatever your view a new age of openness is likely to dawn sooner rather than later company bosses must buy shares in their businesses and see their dealings published why should fund managers be spared the need for such transparency most private investors would probably be happy with the US system under which managers stakes are detailed in bands And I think that's true. In the US, it's a total different system, which, which I think we should um, have as well. Um, 1 to 10,000, 10 to 50,000, and so on. In addition, Ben Yardley of Sure Copper suggests that when managers' services bounces bonuses in the shape of units in the fund, they should be reinvested for a period of three to five years. So, yeah, in the US system, I think I watched this on the Institute of Traders. It's a good channel. I'm not a trader, but it is quite interesting some of the things that he says and does. I did learn quite a lot of things from what he is saying. And I remember him talking about the US system where fund managers um, then tend to get paid um, in stock, in stock options, or they get options in stock, and that, or they get paid in stock and then they can't sell the stock for a certain amount of time or till they hit a certain target. But should you see this drive as the spur to reassess the way in which you select funds? 
Investment trusts must already provide detail of the holdings of their non-executive boards, figures which demonstrate that, in some cases, directors and investors or interests are scarcely aligned, as the new skin in the game research by Ben Newell and Alan Breening of the Infostech highlights. The combined stakes of the 24 boards are worth less than six months' worth of their fees. Collect. For example, nice work if you can get it. The study also details managers happy to commit their own cash to their trust. They include teams at Bailey Guildford UK Growth, that's a growth fund, US Growth, Monks and Scottish Mortgage Trust, Paul Niven and FNC Terry Smith at Fundsmith, Emerging Equities and Nick Train above left at Finsbury Growth and Income and Linsdale Train, a separate Linsdale Train vehicle. The UK Equity Fund has a hold in the Daily Mail and General Trust. I am an investor in Scottish Mortgage, but also in Fundsmith and Fundsmith Emergent Equities on the basis that, as Doris McDermott of Fund Calibre puts it, I wouldn't definitely avoid a fund where the fund manager didn't have a stake, but my greater preference would be for one where the manager's interests aligned with those of the Last year, the advantages were illustrated by the lucrative returns from Pershing Square Holdings of £7.5 billion, FTSE Quoted Trust, where it bets on such recoveries such as Hilton, Chipotle, and the takeaway chain. The trust manager is the US activist investor Bill Ackman, who has £1.3 billion in the trust together with his team. So he has massive skin in the game. So that does give people more confidence. It should mean you should just jump straight in, but it does give you some more uh, confidence. Anyone who decides to back, Ack back Ackman now must believe in the potential offered by his latest deal, described as intriguing by Nopsis the Brokers. Perishing Square Holdings has a 15% stake in Tontine Ackman's special purpose acquisition company, which is spending £4.1 billion on 10% of Universal Music, the publisher behind Lady Gaga. For the, for, but, for the time being, the trust shares and stand at a stubbornly large 27% discount to the value of its net assets. Maybe because altogether, although Ackman and his squad may put their money in the trust, they also pick up high fees, at which some investors can bulk, which they may not be interested in. But as it's obviously an actively managed fund, it's obviously going to be a much higher the fees, percentage-wise. At the moment, I have actually got some funds that I am invested into. At the moment, they're mainly corporate bond funds, um, so most of them are investment grade. One of the bond funds is above investment grade, most of the percentage of it, allocated wise. And one of them is more higher risk, which is sometimes below investment grade, so below triple B, but it's not much below triple B or unrated. A very small percentage of it in that fund is unrated. So this assertion is less relevant than the danger that it could arise from the over-reliance on Smith and other popular managers. For example, it is easy to assume that Fundsmith is the equivalent of a diversified portfolio, but the UK represents just 7% of the global equity fund. So, not a massive percentage, but 7% is nearly one-tenth of um, global equity, so it is not a small amount by any stretch of the imagination considering the size and the amount of the population of the UK. So as the latest Bank of America manager survey underlines, this is the market for professionals favour now. Rated funds and trusts include City of London Lowland, where the managers have stakes, 
and TB and that takes smaller companies. Meanwhile, the current controversy should provide some entertainment. Well, personally, I'm not looking for entertainment. I'm looking for more transparency, and it does actually show me if we do go to a more US-based system, where people um, have to put skin in the game, and they show how much skin in the game is, as well as that if they do do well, they get rewarded, they get some stock options for given stock, and they should not be allowed to sell for a certain amount of time. So, just how will managers without a significant long-term personal commitment to their funds try to justify their choice or hoping to retain your loyalty? So let's go to the comment section of the thing. I don't know why I do it. I don't know why I do it. It's not always the best thing in the comment section. Let's go to the best rated. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that video there. I won't read any of the comments, but if you found this video informative and you like my sort of my style, the informal style, then please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do, you get notified when I next release a video or if I go live. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Take care and I'll see you all soon.